This video is to review rhyme scheme of different poems. Um, I know we talked about how not all poems rhyme, um, but those that do, you should be able to determine what rhyme scheme they have. So pretty much what pattern they have in their rhyming. So um, I just want to take a quick minute and think back to just your basic patterns you did when you were a little kid. So you might have used these cool little blocks and you would have made a hexagon a square, hexagon a square. And if you remember when you were doing these little patterns a long time ago, you would call this an AB pattern because you have A, B, A, B. You may have even gotten a little more advanced and made a pattern like this where you had A, B, B, A, B, B. Um, if you can recognize a pattern like that, then you can also recognize the rhyme scheme of just about any poem that you see. Um, the important thing with rhyme scheme is that we're usually looking, usually looking at the end of the lines for each um, stanza. So we're just going to take a quick look at the IXL activity that goes with this. And that is L.1, labeling the rhyme scheme. And as you can see, it uses AB, just like um, we saw a minute ago with the pattern blocks. And so they've given you a few poems. They've even bolded the end words. And you're just labeling whether it's an AB pattern or um, a more complicated one. So days, room, raise, bloom. So days and rays rhyme, so those would both get A's, and room and bloom rhyme, so they would get both get B's. Now, of course, just like with every IXL activity, these are going to start off really simple, and then they're going to um, possibly get a little more complicated, but here we have another A-B pattern. So the earth has guilt, the earth has care, which rhymes with, but peaceful sleep is over there. So care and there are both A's. Graves and waves are both B's. Um, as you keep going, you like I said, you can get some more complicated ones. This one uh, it is not your typical A-B pattern. You've got falls, calls, hurry, walls. Well, when labeling these, all of the ones that rhyme would have an A, and then this is kind of your oddball that has a B. Um, and so, like I said before, if you can use the pat think back to the pattern blocks that you used to use to create AB patterns and AAB patterns in math, then you are going to find rhyme scheme very simple. Now I did want to take this opportunity to look um, at our Get Epic website because that is on your um, assignments this week in relationship to poetry. So I wanted to jump over to our getepic.com site that we use a lot in class during reading groups. And I just wanted to remind you that you can go to log in students um, and then our class code is here BSK 5299 um, so if you need to type that in you can but once you type in our class code you'll be able to find your name and you'll be able to go in to get epic.com under your own personal account um, so I'm just gonna jump on here under a guest student really quickly and I wanted to show you that up here in the search bar, you can just type poems or poetry, and you're going to get all kinds of different um, poetry books that you could look at. And one of your things this that I want you to do this week is just spend some time reading some different poems um, and looking through some different books. Uh, here's some free verse poetry, which I'm not going to use right now because I want to find some rhyming poetry. Um... So I'm just going to pick one that I think looks kind of interesting. And you can always check out your age range. Make sure it looks like something you're going to enjoy. Um, so this is called a writing kind of day. I just want to take a look at the rhyme scheme of this really quickly. So it is raining today, a writing kind of day. So today and day rhyme, so those would be A's. Each word hits the page like a drop in a puddle, creating a tiny circle. All of these are different, so there's not a lot of rhyming of trembling feeling that ripples out and gathers strength ringing toward the stars. So this was not a very good example because it doesn't have any rhyming. So I'm going to X that out. And I think one of the first ones I saw when this popped up, just a simple poetry book here. Now this says ages four to six, but 
These are still some short little fun poems, but these are great for a rhyme scheme. So, off to breakfast. Scrunchy, munch up, sloppy slurp, swivel down, big belch burp. What did you say? Excuse me. So if you look at your ending rhymes, you've got up, slurp, down, burp. So this would be an A, B, C, B. So the only letters that are going to repeat in that stanza would be B, because slurp and burp rhyme. Um, up does not rhyme with anything, so it's just going to be a letter, labeled letter A. Down does not rhyme with anything. So, over here, teeth need brushing, bristle, thistle, toothy rub, chompers get a sun-up scrub, smile. So if we weren't going to do any, the rhyme scheme, thistle, rub, get, scrub, again, in this one stanza, thistle does not rhyme with anything, so it's going to be an A, rub would be B, get would be C, because it doesn't rhyme with any of those, and then scrub rhymes with rub so that would repeat the letter b in our rhyme scheme so our pattern would be a b c a same rhyme scheme as the poem on the other page and we could go through all of these um, which we aren't but we will do one quick more um, on the close twisty twiggle jump up jiggle undies backwards wiggle giggle hee <laughs> hee um, so twiggle jiggle and giggle all rhyme so those would be a's and backwards does not so that would be a B. So our rhyme scheme for this poem would be A, A, B, A. So anything, anyway, that was just a quick little review for you on rhyme scheme as well as a way of reminding you how to get onto the Epic website in case you forgot. So there you go.